Okay, uh, in this particular lesson, what we are going to be looking at is factoring the form of ax squared plus bx plus c when a is not equal to 1. So uh, just reviewing again what factoring is, uh, if we go from factored form to simplified form, that is called uh, simplifying. And if you go from the simplified form uh, back to the factors, that again is called factoring. Uh, in this particular example's case, uh, a is not equal to 1. So we're going to look at how do we factor something like 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 to the form x minus 3 times 2x plus 1. Uh, in our first example here, and there's lots of methods to doing it, uh, so I suggest choosing one. Our first example says factor 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 and check by simplifying. We can always check our factors by simplifying and put it back into simplified form. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is do it with algebra tiles. So what I have here are 2x squareds, 7x tiles, and plus 3. So here is essentially the simplified form. Now to factor, what we do is trying to create an area with these tiles. Uh, it's generally not terribly easy to do, uh, but in this particular case, what you'll see is we can do that somewhat quickly. Uh, you could play around with the algebra tiles and you'd notice that these single integer tiles right here and the 7x tiles can combine to make this area. So the factored form here, if you want to use the area model or the area method, uh, would be, let me just move these algebra tiles down a little bit. Uh, the factored form here would be 2x plus 1, and this here is x plus 3. Uh, let's go ahead and check if that is actually the factored form. So 2x plus 1 times x plus 3 uh, should be our factored form, should be our solution. If we go ahead and check it, we will get 2x squared plus 6x plus x plus 3, and collecting like terms, we will see that this is 2x squared plus 7x plus 3, which indeed is our simplified form. So the factors are 2x plus 1 and x plus 3. Uh, generally, you're not going to be using algebra tiles because they can be time consuming. Uh, one of the most common methods is something called decomposition. Uh, the decomposition method uh, is a little bit similar to what we factored in the previous lesson, in that what we're going to do is try to find two numbers that multiply to a times c. So we have to think of two numbers that multiply to 6 and that add to the middle term. What we're going to do is decompose that middle term into those two numbers. So two numbers that add to 7. Uh, those two values are positive 1 and positive 6. So what we're going to do is decompose this middle term before we start factoring into positive 1x and positive 6x. And we'll leave the 2x squared and the plus 3 as those terms. So we decompose that middle term. Uh, the next step in the decomposition method is to take each binomial, the first pair and the second pair, and factor the greatest common factor. Uh, so the greatest common factor in the first binomial is just x. And when we factor x out of each of those terms, we are left with 2x plus 1. And the greatest common factor in this second pair, maybe I will do this in orange, the greatest common factor is 3. So if you divide 3 out of each of those terms, which is plus 3, we'll be left with, and it should always be that the two factors in brackets are the same. If they're not, then it's impossible to write this in completed factored form. But what we notice here is that by reverse distribution, x is being multiplied by 2x plus 1, and positive 3 is also being multiplied by 2x plus 1. So in other words, 2x plus 1 is being multiplied by x and plus 3. And what you'll notice is this is also the factored form by decomposition. Okay, So that's decomposition method. Our third method is called the box area method. What we do with the box area method is we try to create each term. Uh, so 2x squared will belong here. 
Okay, and the two values that need to multiply to be 2x squared are these two here. Uh, in the bottom right-hand corner, those have to multiply to be positive 3. And the diagonal boxes have to multiply, or sorry, add. Those have to combine to be plus 7x. It's kind of like a guess and check model. Uh, what we know is the two terms that have to multiply to be 2x squared, since that is a prime number, are going to be 2x and x. There's no other options. Uh, the combination that's either going to be here and here is going to be positive 1 and positive 3, or positive 3 and positive 1, depending on the order. Uh, let me show you possibly uh, what a mistake would be. If I put plus 3 here and plus 1 here, that still makes positive 3, but what you'll see is the diagonal terms in this case make uh, plus 3x and plus 2x, which is not plus 7x. So we've made a mistake in these parts of the factors. So what you'll notice is that it has to be, in this particular case, and you'll get better with guessing and checking, uh, it has to be plus 1 and has to be plus 3 because these diagonal uh, box areas are now going to be plus 6x and plus 1x, which does create plus 7x. So we have created all of these areas uh, correctly. So the factors here again are 2x plus 1 and x plus 3. So somewhat similar uh, to, the, to the algebra tile method, uh, but it doesn't require you using algebra tiles. Uh, in the last method, it's just the guess and check method, which as you get better at this, you may use more often. Uh, the guess and check method, very similar to the box area method, says that the first two terms have to multiply to be 2x squared. So that will definitely multiply to be 2x squared. Uh, right here, and the last two terms have to multiply to be 3. So you might try plus 1 and plus 3, and then you have to just check to make sure that the middle term is 7x. And if we do this and that, so multiplying those outside and inside terms, we get plus 6x and plus 1x, which indeed does make plus 7x. So we know that we have the correct factored form. If you, if you check and it does not create the simplified form, then you factored wrong and you just try again. Uh, so the factored form in all of those methods is 2x plus 1 and x plus 3. We'll do one more just so you can kind of see the continuity here and then do a last example with the greatest common factor. Uh, in this one, we're going to factor 3x squared minus 2x minus 8. We will check again by simplifying. So here's 3x squared. Here's minus 2x. Here's minus 8. And what you will notice is as you cr try to create a area or an area with this, it's impossible. So what we're going to have to do is actually introduce zero or all of these zero pairs. I will be introducing four positive x tiles and four negative x tiles, okay? And you'll see how that will help us to create an area. So as I do that, I'm just going to uh, delete what we have here. So I'm going to introduce these zero pairs from the tile bin. And you'll see pretty quickly that it is, in fact, possible to create an area after doing that in the correct method. Uh, so if I put those four negative tiles there and these four positive tiles here, you'll see that the area can be completed because the eight negative tiles would correctly be placed right down here and it would create a nice area for us. Do that pretty quickly here. Uh, so as you can see, if you look at the side lengths of this area, uh, that our factors in this case are going to be x minus 2 along the top length and 3x plus 4 along the side length. And we can check that. So again, our factors here are going to be, uh, just to have a lack of room here, let's get rid of this. Oops, that's okay. Uh, what I'll do is maybe just write over. Our factors here are going to be x minus 2. So x minus 2. And along the left-hand side, I have 3x plus 4. So in 3x plus 4. Uh, so as you can see, that is going to be our solution. Let me check it. We have 3x squared plus 4x minus 6x 
minus 8. And that does simplify to 3x squared minus 2x minus 8, which is our simplified form. Okay. Uh, let's look at the other two examples again. Uh, decomposition, box area, and, guess, and check. It's going to be very similar. Uh, as far as decomposition goes, what we're going to be looking for is two numbers that multiply to negative 24 and add to negative 2. Okay. So again, multiply uh, to negative 24 and add to negative 2. And those particular numbers in this case are going to be negative 6 and positive 4. So I'm going to decompose this middle into negative 6x and plus 4x and leave 3x squared and minus 8 as they are. And again, we'll take each of these pairs and factor out the greatest common factor and then we'll have the decomposition method finished. In the first pair, uh, the greatest common factor is 3x and we'll be left with x minus 2. And in the second pair, your greatest common factor is 4. And we'll be left with, again, and it has to be this way. If it's not, you've done something wrong, x minus 2. Uh, so in this particular case, again, we can see that x minus 2 is being multiplied by 3x in the first case, and also multiplied by plus 4. So there is our factored form, x minus 2 and 3x plus 4. Uh, with the box area method, what we're going to be doing is, again, trying to create 3x squared in this top left-hand corner, minus 8 in the bottom right-hand corner, and the diagonal terms of that box have to be negative 2x. And as you get better with this, uh, again, you will just get better with it. Um, these have to be x and 3x because 3x squared is a prime number. Uh, we have lots of combinations that can make negative 8, positive 2, negative 4, negative 4, positive 2, negative 1, positive 8, uh, negative 8, and positive 1, and it, they could go in either of these spots. So there's lots of combinations. And as you get better at this, we could try, we already know the answer, but let's say we tried positive 1 and negative 8. That would give us negative 24x and positive 1x, which doesn't even make close to negative 2x. Uh, so you'll notice, as again, as you get better at this, uh, which solutions make more sense. As we know, in this particular case, it's going to be 3x plus 4 and x minus 2, because that would create this being minus 6x and this being positive 4x, and those together make negative 2x. So all of these conditions are satisfied, which means that our factors are 3x plus 4 and x minus 2, as we already know. Okay, And finally, the guess and check method, very similar to the box area method, just without that box area. We would know that the first term in each factor has to be 3x and x, and then the last terms have to make negative 8, and you could guess a whole bunch of options. We know it's plus 4 and minus 2, uh, so both of these conditions are good but we have to make sure that negative 2x is made up of this and this. And that is going to be the outsides multiplied to be negative 6x, the insides to positive 4x, which is negative 2x. So that condition here is also uh, satisfied to make our factors 3x plus 4 and x minus 2. So four methods of doing that. Uh, finally, this one will go quickly. Just wanted to show you one where there is a greatest common factor. The first step of factoring is always, always, always to factor out the greatest common factor. Uh, as you can see in this trinomial, all of these are divisible by 5, or in this case, I'm going to divide them all by negative 5 to make the uh, x squared term positive. So if I factor out negative 5 from all of these, I will create negative 5 as one of my factors, and my other factor would be 3x squared minus 2x and minus 8. And as you can see, uh, we're actually not done at this particular point, but 3x squared minus 2x minus 8 has been factored right here. We know that that is 3x plus 4 and x minus 2. Um, so this is a multiple step factoring problem. Uh, but the negative 5 is one of the factors. And this trinomial here, we already know from the previous example, can be factored as 3x plus 4 and x minus 2. Okay, so that is a completely factored uh, form there, where the greatest common factor was factored first. 
Uh, okay, so for the key ideas in this lesson, which is a, a tricky one, uh, factors, factoring can be done when creating an area with algebra tiles. So it's one visual method to factoring all the time. Uh, secondly, factoring the form uh, ax squared plus bx plus c when a does not equal 1 can be difficult and possible methods include the following. We looked at algebra tiles. We looked at decomposition, which is a method that may be favorable to lots of you. Uh, we looked at the box area method, which is a nice one. And as you get better at this, some of you will be good at the guess and check method of factoring. So choose one and see if that works for you. Uh, and finally, always factor the GCF or the greatest common factor if possible.